Hi everybody. This is Sherry from Share Bear Cottage and welcome. I'm going to go ahead and set my timer. What I have today is, you know, I have a box of things that I've already made and um uh, you know like this, you know like this was made from, you know, an envelope and you know, I've got um all kinds of things in this box and I thought you know it'd be nice if I would just um, kind of share you know what I've been making you know what I have and uh, then we might get some new ideas so oh dear I dropped my box so today um, this was just kind of a little sample that I made out of some envelopes and let me move those and I picked, you know, just a little thing too. This is differently made. And um, I thought today I would just show you, you know, kind of this has a, you know, a page inserted. This is just something that, you know, a little writing space and has a few tuck spaces that you can put, in, you know, on the side pocket of your purse or throw it in your purse or put it in your glove compartment, you know, something like that. And um, I thought that this would be a good time to share it with you. I'm going to try to, there, that might be a little better. All right, so um, I would like to light my little candle here. And I don't know why, I'm a little... Um, I'm not superstitious, but, you know, I just, when I light my little candle, I feel like my mom and my grandma are here to kind of help me with some things and think good thoughts and things like that. So, okay, we're all lit, ready to go. I've pulled out a bunch of, whoop, scrap paper that I thought might, you know, work with this, um, <clears throat> this, this isn't really scrap paper. This, this is scrapbook paper or digitals that I have printed out that when I did my project, I didn't use these. So I have these left over. Some of these are from my porch prints. Uh, this I know is from, uh, and this too is from grandma's attic. And, um, if we can go up a little bit more. How's that? And um, Grandma's Attic. Yeah, my porch prints. And this was just a uh, scrap left over. This was something that I had printed. We might use that. You know, just some things like this. And, you know, I thought what we couldn't find in this pile, well, it just won't go in the book. Right? Okay, so now this little booklet, it's its all made of envelopes except the front cover. The front cover, we really need to pick out a front cover. And I haven't picked that out yet, darn it. I thought I had everything picked out. But, let's see. Oh, that's why, because I was going to use a different front cover. And I'm not going to use that. Okay, well, in the process, we'll get there. So I want to show you how I put these together. Okay. So none of these are glued together yet. These are just, you know, your regular, you know, Dollar Tree um, security envelopes. The regular size, not the um, legal size. Okay. This first one, number one. What I've done is I've taken it, put it on my scoreboard. I think you can see this. Can you see this? I don't think you can see it. That's not good. Here, I'll hold it still. Eh. Lights are kind of bright. Let's see. Does that help? Well, okay, there you can see it. I scored an extra line for closure at one eighth inch past 
the manufactured closure line. Okay, and this is on envelope one. All right, so um, we've got that. So envelope one is like this. Then we're going to take, I, I numbered these because I didn't uh, want to get mixed up. And number two slides into number one. I did this a couple of different ways, and I think this is the best. So turn that over, and we'll just leave this flap out for now. And number three and four slide in together. like this and we'll turn that one over and then number five and six slide in together the same the same way except from the other side you slide five into six now <clears throat> Since I'm right-handed, I have to turn this around. Okay. And what's that that's doing while we're doing this is it's building up a little thicker spot for the spine, you know, with all these. Now, this one, you can tuck it in here and glue it, or you can just leave it on the back like that because we're going to cover this up. So for now, we're going to leave it on the back, and we're going to turn this over five and six. I'll pick them up. So it takes six envelopes. That's it. All right. So on these six envelopes, we have to decide what we want. Do we want to cover all this? Do we want to uh, put, you know, something inside the pockets? Because they can be definitely used as pockets. Um, we will glue these together. And let me show you this one, like this one. This was page one and two. And what I did is I copied some uh, paper that I had and covered up the inside here. But I don't know if I want to do that this time. We don't have to. We can, but we don't have to. It doesn't take much. I'll show you. You just need to um, actually, I could use probably. First thing we're going to do <laughs> is we're going to glue these together. All right, let's just glue these together. Okay. Here we go. Little bit of glue, it doesn't take much. I'll glue that side. This side, I will, see how this is? It, it leaves a little room. Um, Oh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted this on the bottom, on the one, two, like this. Three, four, and five, six. Okay. Understand? I hope you do. Okay. So this is the first one. The one that has, that you've put the little mark on. That's the first one. And I'm going to go ahead and just glue this part down, I think because it's probably going to go around all of them. Yeah, I don't think I should do that. Nope, that's not right. Oh, dear. <laughs> Let's put that aside and get three and four together. We can do this on the back side. And five and six do the same thing. Now remember, five and six is flap. Go the flap goes the other way. Okay. Or tuck it either one. Okay. Here we go. Okay, now this one, let me figure this out. What have I done here? Oh, yeah, this one, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Because we want to have enough room here for these envelopes to just kind of slide into and nestle. Okay, so then I can take and put this glue on. All right, I'll put that down. Make sure they're in there nice and snug. My card. Okay. Now there's a few things that we can do. We can um, put papers. Let's work on this one. Remember I told you we could put papers in here if we wanted to? Well, let me just show you how that works. Really not uh, planning on much for <clears throat> papers inside. So it takes a long time. You know, any of these crafts that we do, when you're designing and figuring out what's happening, it takes a long time. Just, uh, you know, just, just the way it is. All right. Let's see how we're doing with this one. Just want to slide in here. It's a little too long than I knew it was, so I'm going to cut that off right at that line there. I've got pearls falling out of my. <laughs> cutting board that's funny all right right there and you know you don't have to go all the way inside oh look at all the pearls we got okay um you don't have to go all the way in you know to the edge here just so that you know some of that is covered if you like it that way in fact we might have enough here to do two sides but i glued this side down so it's okay because I was thinking of making a pocket there anyway, you know, just a whole pocket like, like this. In fact, I could probably go up under that one a little bit. Like, like so. Pull it out a little bit. Like that. Look at me. I've got them all upside down. Let's turn them around. Having one of those days, I guess. Okay. So we put that there. And then we can put this one underneath it a little bit. And pull it out. Make our little mat. There we go. That's looking good. Okay, I'm going to, well, I want to, darn it, I want to um, color it with some ink. So, um, I think I dropped my inker. Oh, dear. I think this time I'll use um, hickory smoke, hmm, forest moss, um, I like wild ice spruce, let's use that one, it's a really pretty light, light green, we'll use that one. Don't 
have a light green one here, but I can use this. All right. This one too. Probably don't have to go all the way around. Forgot about that. Was thinking about my friend's little bird. She's got a little pair of parakeets that she's had for a long time. And um, <clears throat> they're called Romeo and Juliet. And Juliet had this um, uh, thing on her wing. And I, and she, Anna, uh, Oops, I didn't want to use any names. Uh, she uh, found out that the um, female, Juliet, had this, uh, in I guess it's an ingrown feather. And it just festered up and festered up and it got worse and worse. And, you know, she didn't know what to do. It's pretty hard. Um, you know, to get to the vet. And um, so she was just trying to treat it with some medicine that her dad, excuse me, used to use when he had animals. Some kind of blue medicine. And um, he used that. I mean, she used that on her and uh this thing just oh it looks so horrible festered up and got huge and you know with the blue medication on it oh it just looked i mean so bad i thought for sure she wasn't going to make it and then all of a sudden the wing thing the wing part fell off and we were just, I was uh, shocked, you know, that she was still alive, you know. She said she was shaking, but she wasn't whimpering. And um, I said, oh, my gosh, that is so scary. And because there's nothing you can do. What can you do? You can't, you can't help them. They uh, they just got to heal by the grace of God, I guess. And um, so, long story short, um, the thing fell off, and uh, she looked like she was feeling better. And so, um, my friend <clears throat> said that, uh, I don't know if it was during that day or during the night, that I'm trying to straighten out this edge here. That that uh, she had gotten out of her cage. They couldn't find her. And um, they didn't know where she went. Well, they generally leave the door open, you know, on the cage. Because the birds have been free to fly, you know, in the house if they wanted to all these years. So... <clears throat> It was uh, her choice to do that. <clears throat> so she calls me. She texts me and tells me that Juliet flew. She actually flew. And I was just a taken back. I could not believe it. I thought, no way. There is no way that this could be happening. And it, she did fly and... And she's okay, and wow, God love her. She's a sweet little bird, and little Romeo, her mate, was so worried about her that he, he was just right there by her side the whole time, and <laughs> it was just such a cute little story. And I probably bored you with that, but I'm sorry. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so 
we have that one is it's in there it's all covered and i covered it differently so we can put a pocket or something here this is the the uh other side of the pocket Ooh, the other side of the pocket and we'll cover that with paper let's see i don't have much time left so um what I'll do while we're gone is I'll go ahead and I'll line some of these and I'll cover them with uh, paper and then we'll come back and um, look at that. We need to decide on a cover. Wonder, do we want something kind of plain like this, like that, like this. This printed wrong for me. <laughs> I'm gonna make it that, but I'm going to uh, print it right. Okay, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna stop here because I'm in a good stopping spot. I'm gonna print out the cover. I'm going to make sure these are all lined up really good. And um, we'll get some laces out and, and we'll do this little booklet. How's that sound? Okay, I'll see you next time. Take care. God bless. And um, wait a second. It says I have eight minutes left. I, I thought it said I had three. Well, I can still go on. I think I will print out this one here. And, and I try it again. Here's my little, I don't know if you can see them. These are my little sheep that I made years ago. They're just made with that clay, you know, that, um, I don't know if it was the air dry clay or the one you put in the micro, but not in the micro, in the oven. I think it's one that you put in the oven. So I made the lady. That's what she looks like. Is she cute? cute and then there's her little feet <laughs> I thought she and her little um, ears go up like a flip <laughs> and then here's her her little husband Whoop. and he he lost an eye so I I had to make a patch for him see him I don't know why I can't get in the middle of this camera. There we go. He has a little patch on his eye. But he's made the same way as she is. But he's a little bigger. And he's got uh, bigger feet. And um, he's got a little tail there. She's got her little tail there. But hers is black. And so I just keep them here <laughs> on my desk. Because I think they're so damn cute. They make me smile. I just thought I'd share that. <laughs> Okay, got the paper. <laughs> what is going on with my printer? I do not know. I have to do it again. Oh, that's why I thought that was cardstock. Oh my goodness, Sherry. Oh my goodness. Here, this might work better. Okay. This is going to be the cover anyway. So what I think I'll do is I'll put the cover like in the middle there. And 
so it'll have an a edge like that. Yeah, I think we'll do it like that. We can also put regular paper in here. And I wanted to just kind of show you. I can show you with this piece, I think. This is a, just a scrap piece. But in between, see we have this. Like in between here. You can put a um, regular paper, you know, like in here, you can fold it. This is just, you know, a scrap piece of cardstock, but you can fold it and you can put it in here because it'll get caught up in the um, spine, get caught up in the spine. And then you can go on. And if you want to put another one in here, you can do that. And here you can do that too. So it's up to you. You can put them in this way too. This way. And then, you know, another one this way. And then another one this way. I think that's the easier way. So let's do it that way. Okay. Now, do we have our right cover? No. <laughs> I give up. I give up. Okay, I'll say goodbye and um, God bless you. And I'll see you uh, with the number two part of this envelope booklet. Okay, bye bye. One more thing I wanted to say if you want to do this with me, gather yourself some of these and I'll, you know, kind of start, you know, slowly. Um, and um, you can do it with me. So, um, you know, because it's, it's really not hard. It's pretty simple. And I don't know. I'm just having some, <laughs> some troubles today, you know, getting words out and getting things in the right place and getting the right piece of paper to print. So, um, again, I'll say goodbye and um, come back. We'll finish this little booklet. And like I said, it'll go great in your pocket, in your pocketbook, in your car, anywhere you want to put it. And um, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Okay, bye-bye. Hi there, I'm back. This is Sherry, Chair Bear Cottage. And I finally got the um, paper printed on the cardstock. So we're going to go ahead and... Um, just trim this out um i'm going to use the middle section but i want to get it trimmed out so i can get it folded right and because it looks like it slipped in my printer i got another printer coming and it should be here next week that'll be nice so i'll have two different printers And okay, so I want to fold this right on that fold right there. Get this out of here, right on this fold. I think we'll make this one the front. Oh, pretty colors. Give it a little bit of little bit of lip there. Uh, maybe a little bit more. I like to give yeah, that's pretty good. Right there. And then down here I can Mark it. Have it coming out a little bit. All right. I'm going to cut this. 
I'm going to try. This is the biggest um, chop cutter I have. Wish I had one of those big school ones. I like the kind that they used to have where, where I worked. It was awesome. It cut anything. Cut up to like 15 sheets at a time straight, no less. <laughs> okay, so we got that. Now let's get the... Uh, Oh, yeah, that's good. Let's get the uh, width. Yeah. So I'm going to do it here. Um, I do want to do, I do want to do an eighth of an inch. Right there. Sometimes if you, oh, this is cardstock, 100, oh, I think this is like 85 pound cardstock. But sometimes if you take um, cardstock and you turn it, the other way, which is the way it's supposed to be, um, <clears throat> and you make your mark and then fold it like this, it will crack. But I found that if you take it and do it like inside out first and then fold it back over, it doesn't crack. So that makes me happy. I don't know if that works with all papers, but this is like 85 pound cardstock, or it could be 110, I'm not sure. Yeah, it says it's 110. Okay, so now we're gonna take and we're gonna cut this off. Oh, I didn't mark the other side. Such a doo-doo, such a doo-doo bird, doo-doo bird. <laughs> okay, let me mark it. Okay, there I go. <sighs> Does anybody have those days where just stuff just doesn't go right? I seem to have a lot of them. However, I insist on pushing myself through. This is pretty crooked, but I'm going to try to straighten it. Okay, I'm going to push it up top. Uh -huh. Take a little bit off, turn it around. Just a smidge off. Just to try and straighten it. I can tell it's really um, crooked and I'm sure it's all my fault. This one straight. No. Not even the fourth one. Okay. That's it. All right. So there we go. Now my the one that I made, <clears throat> I was experimenting with the um the binding and so what I did was I sewed just the pack of envelopes together and um and sewed them together without the cover then I took the cover and I split it and then I sewed the cover on you know on the two holes but this time what I want to do is I want to try yeah, this is all an experiment for me. I didn't tell you that, did I? <laughs> anyway, I uh, I want to try put this in here like that, and 
go ahead and, you know, I want to round these corners. Oh, I did rhyme those quarters too. Um, corner rounder. <laughs> Here it is. This one also, I ran around the edge with a leaf design uh, for my uh, with my sewing machine, and then I added on uh, these pieces of a dyed muslin, and I thought it gave it a really cute look. I don't know, should we do that this time? Maybe we'll just put some lace on these. I have some lace here see what we got I have this lace that we can cut oh probably won't have enough don't need very much I just need a little bit to stick out from the edge. I'll think about it. I don't know if I want to do that yet or not. So, um, okay. Back to what we're doing here. All right. Now, we'll put the cover aside. All right. So let's uh, decorate some of these. I have some other paper I thought we could use inside, like white paper. I probably want to put some one, two, and three. I probably want to put three, three sheets. I'll make it small, you know, three sheets is good. Okay. Um. I use this plain white one on the inside of the uh, center of the, um, Envelopes, and then I'll I have some others with the pattern on over here that we can use for <clears throat> writing. Also, because they have uh, a real faint design on them. <laughs> I don't know where these little pearls are coming. I did drop a whole. You see this box? Right here, of my little tiny half pearls. I dropped this whole thing all over my desk the other day. And I picked up and picked up and picked up. And I thought I had them picked up. Apparently not. So, I'm getting little surprises all over. <laughs> oh. Okay. Get these guys out of here. Okay, guys, you just sit there and look cute. Let's ink all the paper that I have here and um, all these envelopes. How about that? Get that out of the way. Think so? Now, this is not vintage photo. This is spruce, an uh, iced spruce. It is a um, Distress Oxide from Ranger, uh, Tim Holtz. Boy, that guy sure got lucky, didn't he? Wow. Amazing. 
he was sick for a while, but it looks like um, he's uh, recovered pretty well. And I saw him on TV not long ago, and well, probably on YouTube, but it was a uh, a date, you know, an uh, up to date date. So I'm glad, you know, that he's doing well. He has some new lines coming out and all kinds of stuff to buy. <laughs> okay, there's that one. Now I'm going to do these. So when we, um, you know, if we cover them with paper, then all this parts are done. We just have to do the paper. All right, and the side too. All right, I can see it coming over the side, so that's good. Let's see, what's today? Well, today's Wednesday, and I'm doing this video for tomorrow because I want to try to keep to my word and do you a video on Mondays, which was always going to be the, you know, the collage weekly. And um, then on Thursday, it'll be something different. Don't know what it will be, but something different than that. Now, some of these you can eat. We can even, um, I'm saying we because I consider you. Some of these we can even, um, you know, cut at the sides or sides or the top for pockets if we want. We don't have to use these pockets all over. Nope, don't have to. All right, looks pretty good to me. So here's one and two. And we're going to put this paper that I just made inside three and four. This way. Like this. Yes, like that. Three and four. Five and six. Okay, so for five and six... I have some pretty plain paper here I think we can use. Let's see, maybe we could you know, they won't fit that way. Nope. We have to do it this way.
I want to um, do the corners. Valentine's Day is rolling around real fast. I don't know. Does the time fly for anybody else? And you guys, you know, you need to tell me, you know, what you'd like to see me do. Because, you know, I will do for you whatever I can. So um, just let me know. Just say, you know, leave me a comment and say, would you make, you know, whatever. And um, I'll make it for you. And I'll try to show the steps slowly and clearly. So that nobody's confused. And if you have any questions on any of these things that I make, please, please. Let me know. That's all you got to do. Happy to answer. Any old time. Okay. So there's this one. Let me put that one in five and six. And what shall we do up here? I was thinking of, since we lost a pocket here, I was thinking of taking this one and cutting the top and just covering this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to use this paper even though I folded it. See if I can straighten it at all. Another thing I've been wanting to do, and I don't know if you guys would be interested in it, is um, make, you know, Artie Mays is amazing to me. You know, she she definitely is an artist, and she uh, does this um, um, Try It Tuesdays. And I thought maybe I could find some things on there that I think I could do, or... If you could find some things on Artie Mae's Try It Tuesdays that you'd like me to do, I'll sure give it a try. Definitely. Sounds like fun to me. Yep. This one. All right. So this is our building of a envelope slash pocket booklet. This one, I don't know if I should round the corners or not. Let me see how it looks in here. There's one and two. Um, should I put it here? Cut the top. Or put it here. And put something else over there and still cut the top. I think we'll put it here. Okay, so now because I want to use this as a pocket and I don't want to get glue down here, what I'm going to do is first I'm going to mark the thumb hole to let people know it's a pocket. Oh, right about there. And I'm going to do this, this is a good color that I picked because it go, this is a little bit pinky lavender, pinky lavender. 
oops, and um, I think it's going to look real nice with the pinky lavender. <laughs> this here but before I put that down I am going to take this strip and put it underneath so it will have the same color yep that's what I'm going to do so it will have the same color I'm going to cut just a little bit off right here and I don't think I need to well I'll do it like in the middle And there, I didn't do it in the middle. I did it somewhere else, didn't I? Oop. See, that closed up on me already. Okay. Oop. Turn this around. Down here. This one in here. Yep. And that's a yep, 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 and a yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Jeez. I'm just a little crazy now, man. Oh, that didn't go in the right place, did it? Oh. Okay, I'm going to take it out and do it again. Before I do that, I'm going to put this down. Right. That. Okay, let's try it again. Thank goodness I didn't put too much glue. Try to get her in there straighter than that. I'm just going to put it on the top. It doesn't have to be uh, there we go. That's good. Okay. And then this one will go on top here. All the way up. Looking like it belongs. Just like that. I get ahead of myself in my thinking. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> oh, forgive me. I know you're thinking, what is she doing? Sometimes I think that when I'm watching YouTube, I think, what are they doing? And then when they get done, I'm like, oh, that's what they did that. <laughs> And it always looks good. Okay, so here we go. Here's our pocket. Whoop. Our pocket's in here instead of up here. But I can do one up there on the next one. We can do one over here. Side. We want to go inside there. Inside there. Uh -huh. Oop. And we'll go all the way over here. I hope that's right. Okay, and the height, I need the height, let's see, yeah. I thought I, oh, yeah, 
I have that right here. I'm like, I thought I did the height. <laughs> I'm going to put this one in here. Well, it's not going to show, but, but they go together, but um, it's not going to show that it goes together. We're going to, because I'm going to have paper in between here, so. That. Okay. I think we only need to cut one more piece of paper. We're done with that. Okay, that looks good. Let's put the glue on. I have to decide if I want to... You know what? I'm going to cut it right now. We'll make this a top. Tuck. We'll just cut the very edge off there. Pull it off. Like that. Put this down that okay then we'll put this on here before I do that I want to get a little bit of this ink in here if I can get some ink in there uh, Okay. I don't know which way's upside right here, so hmm. I kind of like it this way. Let's get my corners. I like to dip my corners in, and sometimes I forget about it. But that way, you know, you got your corners in and close to the middle but not too close because you want it to move open it and closed okay so there we are there's that one and we open up here the top and I'll put my little Divot thing in here. Okay, it looks like I've been on here 30 minutes. So, okay, so I'm going to go through, like I told you before, and um, finish all the ones that I need to finish and put the extra paper in. And I'll be back next time and we'll go ahead and we'll finish this and we'll sew the cover on. And then maybe we can do a little bit of um, embellishing. Okay. Until next time, thank you for watching. And um, God bless you. And I'll see you next time. Okay. Bye-bye.